Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Kathy back here. How you doing, guys? Um, had a little bit of technical difficulty there for a minute, but Jesus took care of it, and we're back up. Uh, so we're going to jump up now and continue on the news. Uh, the first one, we needed to play those two videos, and it took up, you know, our whole 15-minute uh, time slot there. So I just went ahead and just made a shorter video. So now I'm going to pick up and do some more headlines. Uh, so... <clears throat> we, I found this very interesting. So I don't think Trump is taking a stand. He says it's Trump taking a stand. No. So this is weird. So right about here, here comes the big issue right here. here. And this is the shakeup that is going on. CNN brought out. Members now, now, keep in mind, he's reporting CNN. Like, CNN, really, Steve? Okay. Anyway. Who were suddenly removed included former secretaries of state, state Madeleine Albright, and his Henry Kissinger, former ranking member of the House Intelligence Committee Jane Harman, and former House Majority Leader Eric Cant Cantor. Two uh, of the officials said. Okay, so let me just say, so it says <laughs> he removed Henry Kissinger. You, you don't remove the puppet does not remove the puppeteer okay so so this whole thing is it's just another move of the circus i i just thought it was hilarious when i saw that i'm like it, you know it, that just doesn't happen so something definitely there's some kind of game going on here the puppet does not remove the puppeteer okay so now dan looked it up and found this i thought this was really interesting so um, this is just from November 15th, November, November 13th, right? But it was talking about something from April. Um, so just understand, just in a nutshell, there's some disgusting words here that this dirt bag, satanic dirt bag, uh, believes. And it's all about, you know, the those old little old slaves, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Anyway, he and Bill Gates are running the whole um, abomination of desolation of Mark of the Beast. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're the ones putting together the whole vaccine thing. So, I'm sorry, but I don't believe it for a second. So, <laughs> they're obviously, this is some kind of chess piece. This is something that they're playing. They want to make it look like Trump has some kind of power or something. And says, oh, Henry, we don't want you anymore. <laughs> yeah, right. You say that to Henry Kissinger. We all know he's a dirtbag, but uh, excuse me, he's part of the Antichrist. You're, you, you know, <laughs> it just doesn't happen. So please don't believe these things. Whatever they're doing, because they've been talking about that. They've been talking, he's putting people in, bringing people out, you know. They're just simply putting all the chess pieces where they need to be. Because the war is about to begin. Okay, so everything's get, getting into place. The Antichrist is about to take his place. So... And all the little chess pieces need to be in the right spots. So that's all this is. He, he's not letting <laughs> he's not letting go of Mr. Henry Kissinger. Nobody lets Henry Kissinger go. Jesus is taking care of him. Jesus is getting on getting his butt in the lake of fire. However, a puppet cannot take out the puppeteer. Sorry. <laughs> um, but anyway, because he's the one that runs half the show in the White House. So anyway, moving right along. Okay, so um, is the church following footsteps in Nazi Germany? I thought that was an interesting headline. I have not had time. Oh, it's only 37 seconds. Let's see what he's got to say. Good evening, friends. Stephen Brennan here with Israeli News Live. Also, this will air on multiple platforms of Israeli News Live, Track News Network, and Danoon Institute. And I am very, very uh, pleased to have Brother Brock Knight uh, from WATB. Dot TV, uh, Dr. Knight's son here with us tonight because this young man, uh, maybe he's not really young, but he's not <laughs> old either. So this is what he's been doing because, you know, <laughs> YouTube cuts him off all the time. So he's, he's, you know, putting on his main channel because this is the one they keep blocking because he tells the truth, you know. Um, this is the one he keeps, they keep blocking, so he just does the quick intro, so you can go to the other channels to check it out. Um, I'll, I can, I'll find the other one and put the link in the description box, but this, this probably, my guess, is they're going to talk about how the church is reacting to everything, probably like 501c3 garbage or something. 
I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, it's it's not a surprise. So we're I'm going to check that out, and I'll put the link in the description. But if you want to look, you can just go to, I'm sure it's on Fact News Network, I think he said, but he's got the link here. So I'll get it. I'll, um, I'll put the link in the description so you can watch the whole thing. Uh, but well, let's check out Dabu. Um, most gatherings banned. L.A. residents ordered to stay home until Christmas week. And my guess ain't, they ain't going to go anywhere then either. So let's play this. More Israelis are ordering the New Testament from our website. This is Dabu7. I have people reaching out to me all across the globe concerned about what they're seeing. And people here in the United States, they're facing it in different ways. Every state having their own set of rules. And one of those states has been cracking down hard in terms of going against people's freedoms especially being able to travel about to gather California and Newsom at the top of the list here. We now have health officials in on this with Newsom there in Los Angeles County, and they're declaring that there needs to be this safer at home order enacted. So they're clamping down with all these restrictions, saying that there's going to be a ban on most gatherings for a three-week period. So in California, they did create an exemption for religious services and protests. Now, this new directive, which will take effect next week, will stay in force until December 20th. It will prohibit all public and private gatherings involving people from different households and impose further occupancy limit, limits on businesses and there's going to be their people out there watching to make sure that this all goes down how it should. As we've seen in different states, like New York City, they had cops spying in windows with cameras, snatching pictures and all this stuff. And they'll be doing it in other places. Yeah, we all we know this is all going on. It's all it's all about to be a permanent lockdown. It's already started. What has started, it will never stop. So one by one, all the states and all the countries are going to join in. And, and then the war is going to be going. The Antichrist is going to kick in. And we're here, guys. It's all over. All right. So let's check this one out. Sorry about the ad. This is Dapu7. We now have word that the former CEO of Overstock is saying he's funding a group of hackers and cyber sleuths, along with other people that have odd skills, this team he has put together to try to prove that Trump won the election. Oh, gosh. More of the circus. Just more of the circus. There, It's the game, you guys. This is the MK Ultra. remember? Remember the MK Ultra? They're trying to get you to believe what they want you to believe. You know, Dabu's just reporting the stories, but understand, this stuff is all part of the game. This is all part of the game. They want you to see what they want you to see. Um, El Paso Mayor says, recent COVID-19 spike due to fatigue. I saw that and I, I wasn't quite sure what to think of it. Due to fatigue, many cases from shopping at large. You know, they're they're going with the shopping obviously they're going to use the whole christmas shopping thing for oh here comes covid again you know whatever again more of the mk ultra mind control circus there you go okay moving right along um yep and new york uh again they're uh getting the emergency hospital measures now you know what i read in here uh, anybody in New York State who is a retired doctor or nurse better keep your eyes out because they're going to start calling you. They And I'm thinking, I wonder if they're going to, like, make it mandatory if, like, retired people have to help. You know, maybe they're maybe you have a medical excuse. I don't know how it works, but I thought it was very interesting. So we, we actually know people in our life that, that are retired <laughs> nurses or doctors. Very interesting. I'd like to see how that one's going to go how that's received <laughs> we shall see okay moving right along okay so brother paul minister paul put out he said this i was trying to understand i was shown the maldives again second time now 
TMA uh, Airport, the artificial beach area, Male Island. I inquired of Yahweh what message, what message I was to give and what was given to the scripture. And he spake the parable unto them uh, to this end, that men ought to always pray and not faint. Luke 18.1. So the Lord showing Minister Paul something about um, the Maltese again in some kind of airport, an artificial beach area. So there's going to be some kind of attack somewhere in this. I'm not sure where the Maldives are. Um, I'll have to look that up. But uh, so I'd say heads up, you know, keep an eye on it. You know, let me look down here. Oh, my. I just had a dream last night. I spoke this dream to my husband and had no clue where we were. But it, just like the Maldives, I was wondering why you shared early. Interesting. So we'll have to, I'll have to find out where the Maldives is. You know what? We can do a quick search. Maldives. Um, bring up a quick map. What time is how many minutes are we on? 11 minutes. Okay. Sri Lanka. Okay. So it's south of India. So that's where the Lord's showing him something's going to go down. Okay. So I had to pause this for a minute because uh, uh, I needed to re-record it because right after we got done with this, um, Jennifer found something and I'm going to pull it right over here. Check this out. Now, the Maldives and the U.S. signed a defense agreement when? September 11th. Um, what? <laughs> like, are you kidding me? And uh, let's see. So um, they technically signed it September 10th, but did the official announcement on September 11th. I mean, you can't even try to make that up. It says um, the framework sets forth both countries intent to deepen engagement and cooperation in support of maintaining peace and security in the Indian Ocean, blah, 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 lies, lies, of course. I just thought that was pretty crazy. So I am totally going to send this link to Paul, and <laughs> I'd love to hear his reaction. He's probably going to flip. Anyhow, just wanted to throw that in there so that we didn't miss that. Um, let me pull up uh, the video again. Okay. So we'll have to keep an eye. Possibly, I'm thinking probably an earthquake down there. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Um, next, uh, we've got, oh, this was great. Great. Um, just because we don't have time to play the whole thing. Oh, this is such a good video. Get this one. So the, the big tree in Rockefeller Center, that ugly, disgusting tree that Cuomo picked out, Anyway, they they got it from Oneana, New York. I love it. He calls it One Anta. <laughs> it's Oneana, New York. And um, all of the numbers are all the enemy. So so look at this. There was a owl. It said a little owl in the tree for three days on its trip to New York City, right? Oneana is probably, I want to say, an, uh, maybe a couple hours from New York. And um, so... It took a couple days to, or three days to get there, and they found this owl in the tree. Right? What do we? Uh, what do we all know? The owl represents. Oh yeah, but um, Bohemian Grove, Moloch, all the Illuminati garbage. Yeah. So there's a little owl in there, and then they were on Route 88. We have an I-88 here in New York, uh, upstate. You guys, this is not the city. So there's an I-88 that goes across central New York, and that's what they were driving on. You believe that one, 88? Then it was, uh, the tree came from Route 23, and then um, he went, drove on. You know, it was just hilarious. So all the numbers are really amazing. Yep, witchcraft going on. You Wait till you see it. Just wait till you see it. You got to check it out. Um, I will put the link in the description. You guys can uh, take a listen on that one. And let's see what this, okay, so that will start that. So we that is going to be it for this one for the news and um uh if everybody's listening just kind of hang with me for a minute because then we're gonna um, go on to some messages okay but uh god bless you guys if anybody's got any questions pop over an email at uh, grafted in team jesus 222 at gmail.com all right love you guys bye-bye